Hello and welcome to the School Business Services mini webinars. Today, we will be looking at setting up intake groups in SIMS so that we have these in place for our new intake students to go into for the new academic year. We are going into routines, admission, admission groups, setup. This will be the first screen that we will see. This allows us to filter any groups if we know what we are looking for. An example, I can change the admission year to filter to a specific academic year if required. An example could be where I'm not sure if I've created a new admission group yet for the new academic year. I can also click on the search button without changing any filter conditions to get a full list of admission groups created by the school. Do be aware that this list of admission groups are considered the active admission groups. To create a new admission group, I click on the new button on the top left. I then have the option to change the parameters. I will select the admission year 2020-2021, but I can create admission groups for future academic years. I cannot create admission groups for past academic years. For the admission season, I will be selecting autumn, as these will be the students arriving in September. For the year group, I'll be selecting year seven, and for the planned admission, I will enter 100, as I'm expecting 100 new students for the new year. As soon as I click inside the name field, Sims automatically generates the name, but I have the option to change this to any name I prefer. In panel two, I click on the new button to create a new admission group. The name can be anything I want it to be, but it is recommended to use the academic year and year group this group is for to avoid confusion. For the date, I will be selecting the date the students are expected to start. I click on the browse button and then use the calendar to navigate to the dates I would like to select. I then have to triple click to confirm my selection. Alternatively, I can manually type in the date as well. To save my group, I click on the Save button on the top left. In a primary school scenario, I might have a staggered start. In this case, I could consider making an admission group for each day the pupils are expected to come in on. It is also recommended to look at all the admission groups and unticking the active tick box to remove them from the selection so that they cannot be accidentally selected. You can now create applications with this group or use ATFs or CTFs to import directly into your new admission group. Thank you for watching. We hope that this mini webinar has helped. If you have any questions or are interested in hearing more about school business services, please follow the links below the video.